So, Bill Cosby went to jail yesterday. That's some sad shit, no matter how you look at it. I'm sorry. I mean, I, I got a lot of thoughts on it. But, I mean, when you see Bill Cosby led away in handcuffs, to me it was kind of like seeing Jesus led away in handcuffs. Like, who else? What are you going to fucking tell me next? Is Big Bird going to go on a mass shooting spree or something like that? Fuck it. Like, anything I thought was, like, when I was younger, like, sacred or, like, this person could never do any wrong, you find out they're up to some sick, satanic, or rapey bullshit. But, um, I don't know. Look, so, the Cosby, let's, first, I believe the women, most of the women of the Bill Cosby thing. Here's why I say that. Because there are a few, Janice Dickinson, you know, fucking wash up supermodel who says everything happened to her as long as Gloria Allred's there. That vampire bitch, she's another one. Okay, hold on. I'm getting ahead of myself. So Bill Cosby was accused of multiple counts of drugging chicks and raping them. And here's where I knew that he did it. I mean, I'm not in any industry, but people within the industry knew that he did it and heard rumblings. I mean... It's a weird rumor to get started about you. I mean, look, I mean, anybody who's watching this right now, have you ever had a rumor started about you that like, they like the drug chicks, that person right there likes the drug chicks and rape them? I mean, no, it's a weird rumor. Be like, you know, that's a real asshole. I can buy that. You know, just the, you know, a random rumor that got started and you meet the person, they're not such an asshole. But all of a sudden, that's a weird specific rumor to make up that everybody all of a sudden kind of knows about but keeps quiet about. Bill Cosby, man. So... What he said in one deposition kind of sealed the deal for me, where he basically, not basically, he did say that he gave a woman quaaludes to relax her to have sex with him. Why do you need a girl to relax to have sex with you? If the girl needs to relax to have sex with you, she don't want to fuck you. Bottom line, she don't want to fuck you. You should be, she should be wanting it. She shouldn't need anything. He was offering people Benadryl and shit. I'm surprised he didn't offer her, like, you know, fucking, you know, like, paint chips or something like that. Like, yeah, yeah, just put it in your pudding and make you horny. Woo! But <laughs> Bill Cosby, let's go back to the Cosby show. I loved the Cosby show growing up. Like, I grew up with that show. Um, you know, he was like America's dad at one point. And it's true. They did separate the color lines. You didn't really see it. Although, there were some things about the Cosby show that really... Just kind of tickled my ass. I don't know why. But first of all, he had a new kid every season. Do you remember? The, okay, when they started that show, it was Denise. Uh, uh, what's her name? It was, fuck, uh, Vanessa with her bitchy ass. Remember? Vanessa was always a cunt. Remember, Vanessa was just a bitch always starting shit. She's the one getting in fights with Denise. She's stealing clothes. She's wearing makeup when she's not supposed to be. Vanessa needed an ass whooping. I was waiting for the very special episode where they took a belt to Vanessa's ass. But like, bitch, I'm tired of you causing all this little shit. Ah! But then, then there was, um, you know, Rudy, who, you know, the cute one until she, you know, started to get a little chubby when she's 12. And they just like, get her fat ass out of the screen, put Raven Simone in there. And then there was, uh, who else? Uh, uh, a Theo, you know. Okay, cool. He's nothing bad to say about him. Theo rocked. I wore a shirt, actually. Like, I like Theo. And people just beat me up. I didn't know why. But <laughs> and then um, here was where it started to get weird. I mean, so the original cast was him, a Theo, uh, Bitchy Vanessa, uh, cute little uh, Rudy and Denise. And Denise was kind of like this punk rock, heavy metal chick, which, okay, I believe that there can be that in the black community, but it always just kind of tickled me that she stood out from even the rest of the family. Like, they'd be like, ooh, we're going to the Heavy D concert, or we're going to do this. And Denise is like, daddy. <laughs> Remember Denise would have, like, the multicolored hair? Daddy, I need money to go to the Killing Baby concert tonight. I'm going to go rock out with my cock out. She was, like, one of them rocker ch emo chicks, but she's, like, black chick. I've never met a black emo chick. Do they exist? Is that, like, a unicorn? Are they really out there? Is there some, like, black girl just sitting there cutting herself, listening to, like, Skinny Puppy or something? <laughs> like, girl, I'm depressed. Oh, Lord, I'm so fucking depressed, girl. I can't even come out tonight. I'm going to listen to this, some goth music, light a candle, and cry. Oh, really? He's there? Okay, well, I'll be over there in five minutes. You white bitches are going to have to keep crying and cutting yourselves because I got to go. I got life and shit. I mean, this was fun for a minute, but now it's depressing in here. And you want me to wear this dark-ass makeup? Fuck the fuck out of here. Your fashion is fucked up. I'm going to tell you right now. But she would do something like go to these... like. Remember when, wasn't it Vanessa or somebody like that went to go see The Wretched? Remember they got in trouble for going to see The Wretched? Like she stole a car? Like Vanessa told you, a little troublemaker. It was funny to me. It, she shouldn't have hung around with those white bitches. They always got her in trouble. <laughs> Vanessa hung out with all these little white whores and they'd be like, let's go to The Wretched concert. No black girl, real black girl back in that time would have gone to The Wretched concert. Can you see a girl go, girl, <laughs> I'm going to The Wretched concert. I need some death metal in my fucking life tonight. No, fuck LL Cool J, all that shit. I need to go to a white people, crazy heavy metal concert. Maybe some white boy's going to throw up on me and then they're all going to start. I can't wait. The black girl gets there. Oh, what y'all bumping into me for? You do that on purpose? 
What in, what's a mosh pit? What the fuck is it? Y'all sick in the mother... If you all try to pick me up and make me crowd surf one more time, I just got my hair done. I look good and I'm point. Why are you doing this? This is racist. You motherfuckers... <laughs> they would be so pissed at a concert like that. There's no way they would go. There's no way. I wouldn't go. And I don't blame them because they're smart. Nobody wants to go to a con concert like that except, you know, like a 20-year-old white kid. Anyway... And then there was season like two, because the first season, I don't ever remember Sandra's albino ass. Do you remember that? All of a sudden, they have another kid. Sandra, hi daddy, I'm home. Who the fuck is this bitch? Where did she come from? I have a secret theory that even within the Cosby universe, he was cheating. He was raping bitches and she was like born because she was, you know, she was really white. I mean, she was really, really light compared to like the rest of them. Even Denise was like, holy shit, that bitch is white. Like, <laughs> and Denise was late. So it was like, the whole family dynamic, it looked like, like, oh, Mr. Dr. Huxable been fucking around, at least with Denise. The rest, okay, but mm, Denise is questionable. Sandra over here, you need to go somewhere. But I think he put a curse on that show. Here's why. Okay, Bill Cosby gets accused of being a rapist, and he gets convicted of it. And, like, just, what was it, two weeks ago? What's his name? Elvin, the one that was married to the albino, Sandra? <laughs> he gets, like, called out for working an honest job and splayed all over the place by Fox News just being heinous. Like, look, he's actually trying to make a living. <laughs> look, what a loser. <laughs> Backfired on their ass. Nicki Minaj gave him $25,000. He donated it to charity, the guy who played Elvin. Caught him at Trader Joe's working, like, oh, look, a fallen actor. Ha, ha, ha. That's some dick. That's a dick move they did to him. He got 25 grand from Nicki Minaj. Now he's getting offers from Tyler Perry. It's the best thing that could have happened to you. Man, now you're going to make a killing off this stuff. But what I like what he did, the, the guy who got the money from uh, Nicki Minaj, he donated to charity because he knows that bank's coming in from Tyler Perry now. All right. Again, all over the place. But so be all that as it may, the whole Cosby show, it was a great show. I mean, it, it, it just was something you could rely on. It'd be like finding out, you know, I love Lucy. Like, finding out that Lucy was, you know, digging up dead bodies and having sex with them. Like, if you find, like, Lucy's being dragged through a court, you're like, ah, oh, come the fight, Lucy? Lucy did something now? What the fuck? Yeah, you know, she was fucking dead people. I mean, it's technically they can't complain about it. There's no consent laws there yet, but you know what? It's still illegal and we have to do something about her. She's got dead, dead dick remnant all over her fucking I love Lucy pussy. <laughs> but... The trial was just, I mean, yeah, I think there was a mixture of hanger honors and real victims. I think there were real victims who were drugged, who were, you know, molested, fucked by him, I'm sorry. And there were a couple of girls who, Gloria Allred, the vampire evil old bitch that's, if a girl gets a boo-boo, she's, I think this sidewalk who made her scrape her knees against women and we're suing for five bajillion dollars and we need to have a press conference. What do you mean you don't have a press conference? And you're not my client, bitch. I want to be in front of the camera. Come on. Um, um, well, this girl over here, somebody farted on her in Rite Aid, and we have to, uh, we need $2 million because she thinks it's sexual harassment. That's right. Fucking, the bitch is everywhere. And as soon as I saw that evil bitch standing out there with three of the victims, I don't believe them bitches. I don't believe any bitch standing next to Gloria Allred because her, her shit, she represented Tiger Woods' mistresses. What the fuck were they suing for? Because they fucked the guy who was married and knew it? Please tell me what the fuck they sued for. I, I have no clue what that was about. Remember? She's parading those whores around. They're sluts. That's what the fuck they are. You dicked a married man. You know you dicked a married man. And you want to sue about it? And Gloria Allred wants to sit there with her full fucking vampire ass? Fucking, she's a lesbian. Don't tell me she's not a lesbian. She's got the same kind of haircut I do. Come on. That bitch is like, and I'm really upset right now. <laughs> that this is sexual harassment and I'm getting no pussy. Oops, I said it out loud. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway... It's just sad. The whole thing is sad any way you look at it. Bill Cosby going to jail. And I have to admit, and this could be completely wrong of me, there's something about me seeing Bill Cosby's pathetic blind ass led through in fucking, you know, uh, uh, handcuffs that was like, oh, you know what I mean? Like, oh, look at the rapist going to jail. Oh, that sucks. He's old. He, can't we just give him a slide? Can't we just be like, you bad, bad old man. Don't rape no more. You can't? Good. Cut his dick off. I don't know. Neuter him. Do something. But don't fucking... I don't know. I have mixed emotions about him being in jail at this point. I, I know logically he should be. I know that that's where he's going. That's where he deserves to be. You don't rape a girl. You don't, you don't drug a girl to get her ready to have sex with you. That's some Jeffrey Dahmer weird psychotic bullshit. You don't do that. Unless you're planning on, you know, cutting their head off and then fucking the head. Then that's when you do that shit, when it's some sick shit like that. But I don't, I, I really, for whatever, just to be honest, I really had a visceral reaction to seeing him, maybe because he was like a childhood and role model myself after him, obviously. But just like 
a beloved figure. I was kind of like, ah, seriously? I mean, he's like, he's bumping into doors because he can't see anymore. Like, they're fucking leading him down the hallway. He's like, hey, is this the way to put him? going to be, ow, ow, where, Camille, where's Camille? Where's Camille? Camille looks like a fucking Stockholm Syndrome victim. You ever seen her on an interview defending her husband? <laughs> she don't say shit. And Camille, do you, Camille Cosby, do you believe this? <laughs> she checked out a long time ago. Nobody's home. I'm telling you. She's she's in a, a wonder world in her head where she's with a man who doesn't cheat on her and doesn't dick women, you know, while they're unconscious. It's just... <laughs> he just stares in the space. At, at the trial. <laughs> I think she had a lobotomy. I don't think she's there anymore. But, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it sucks. I'm just waiting. Who else? Who else now? Then you find out Bert and Ernie are gay. I mean, everything is just being ruined. <laughs> Let's just fucking ruin everything. I'm waiting for them to come out with something about Mr. Rogers. I'm waiting for it. They made a movie about him. Say, He's so great. He really loved kids. There's going to be five boys who come out in about a year from now and be like, he fucked us in the ass. And be like, oh, come on. Stop the bullshit. Can you, really? Everybody's just evil? Fuck, at least I admit it. On the flip side of that, maybe I'm going to turn out to be a really good person. Yeah, maybe. Uh huh. Uh huh. Wouldn't it be funny? Like years later, it's like, you know, there's some news about Jay. Like I get like, you know, 2,000 subscribers finally. <laughs> I think I'm somebody. All of a sudden I'm out there. It's like, and we found out today that Jay actually donated to charity. I, can you believe it? He helps orphans on the weekend. I am I'm shocked. Like if you find out the flip side, can we do that? Can we find a good shit about bad people? Maybe that would help. <sighs> I'm just exhausted with all this fucking news. And uh, that's it. I'm exhausted and I'm tired. Not as tired as I would be if I... Drank a drink next to Bill Cosby. I had to. I'm sorry, I had to.